Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a Mercari Bolo video for you guys, and I have one gal who's always like, I always wait for your Mercari videos. She loves Mercari, and um, she's actually doing consignment for me, and I do have her link down in the description of the video, so you guys can head over there if you wanna check out to see what she's selling for me. She has her items posted also, but, um, yeah, that's Mary, and uh, she's the gal that did the Ben's challenge with me. So if you want to meet Mary and see our Ben's challenge, you can go check that out on the channel. It's lots of fun. All right, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, Mercari, I love Mercari. Um, is it eBay? As far as how many sales I get, absolutely not. Um, but it's still great. Uh, items that would sit on eBay. I bring them to Mercari and sometimes they sell like right away. It's pretty crazy. So I'm going to show you my bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them, I don't know. I can't remember. I think I have some decent ones in here. Um, but yeah, the, my Mercari and my Poshmark videos are bread and butter and big money all combined. Um, on eBay, I divide my videos up by bread and butter videos, which is my items that I sell for $35 or less, and my big money videos that are $35 and more. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So if you want to see the other videos for the other platforms, I do have those in separate videos. I try to keep it um, by platform to um, kind of cater to each individual. So, but all of my items are cross posted to all three platforms. Um, eBay is a little bit ahead of the game right now because I usually start on eBay and then cross parse, cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. I started my new channel sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So this month I have really dedicated a lot of time to that and have kind of slacked on cross posting. But um, if you're interested in a cross posting uh, service that helps you cross post quicker, um, I highly recommend List Perfectly. That's what I use. I've been using it over a year. Um, there's a video in the description of this video that will show you how I use List Perfectly. If you want to try it, you can use referral coupon code Bolo Buddies. One word that'll get you thirty percent off your first month. If you love it, you can keep using it, and if you hate it, you can quit. But I don't want to say I guarantee it. But I am like ninety nine percent sure you're going to love it because it is going to save you so much time and you're going to get new eyeballs on your items that may be sitting on one platform. All right, let's talk about these bolos. And the first item I sold is this Disney store Moana, I think is how you say it, a doll. Now I do free shipping on Mercari. It just works for me. I feel like it works better. Now, one downfall that I heard is I'm being charged the fee on $17 and I have free shipping. So if I did, if I sold the doll for $10 and used Mercari's shipping, then I'd only be paying a fee on the $10. Am I understanding that correctly? Somebody told me that and I'm like, Hmm. So I'm spending more money than I need to. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments. Do you do free shipping? What do you think the pros and cons are? Because I think probably some of the people watching this video are maybe people that are not subscribers to me, but are interested in seeing Mercari sales. So I may have some different people here that are Mercari pros. So let me know in the comments what you think about free shipping on Mercari and just different pros and cons. Um, as far as Mercari goes, I would say that if I look at eBay sales, Poshmark sales, and Mercari sales, I sell about the same on Poshmark and Mercari. Uh, eBay blows them out of the water. So if you're not selling on eBay and you're on Poshmark and Mercari, Think about getting lists perfectly and getting your items on eBay because eBay is just, it's, it's just a bigger platform. But um, yeah, I sold this item for $17 free shipping, but I do love Mercari. The next item I sold is this Bratz doll and I sold her for $23 free shipping. 
So um, again, I paid the fee on the $23. So I don't know. I'm starting to maybe think that I need to reevaluate how I'm doing that. But I also think I get more sales because of the free shipping. So yeah, would love your feedback. All right. This uh, Bratz doll came from a garage sale. I bought a bunch of dolls. And so I've probably got 50 cents or less in her. And I can't remember where I got this girl. Um, but plush, I usually pay a buck or less. Now, this set of rings. Um, here is the main photo. And I put it on my fingers. It looks kind of ridiculous. But I just wanted to show um, all of the different rings. And I actually got an offer from, um, I think this is the one. Yeah. I got an offer from DLJ from PA and I messaged her and I'm like, is that you? And she's like, Courtney. And I'm like, yeah, she's like, Bola buddies. And, um, I don't have my, my store name on Mercari is like CRH 0800. So she didn't know it was my listing, but I knew it was her. And, um, she is now flipping fiasco. She changed her name recently. So go look her up on YouTube and check her out. But she ended up making me an offer on these for $32. And I went ahead and took the offer. She does a lot of jewelry unboxings on her channel, but um, she, she works a job and does YouTube part time, but she has reseller content. So it is now flipping fiasco. So go check her out. She's great. All right. The next item I sold is this Ed Force floral enamel ring. Um, this was a long tail item. Uh, I don't know when I posted it on 423, April 23rd. So it's been about a year. And I will tell you, this was really, really low in the search. So I'm guessing somebody searched very specifically this brand, this size, and my ring came up because otherwise it would have been buried. Um, I think this came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay or it came from a garage sale haul. I can't remember which. Let me see. Yeah. Um, but I sold it for $30. So I was thrilled with that because I probably have like a quarter in it. Um, and the I paid the shipping, but it was first class. So super cheap. These rings all came out of my bulk buy. The next item I sold is this Hasbro Monopoly game. And I picked this up at a thrift store. I think I paid $8 for this. Um, and when I looked up comps on eBay, there were a ton listed. And I'm like, oh, man, I probably shouldn't have bought this. And I listed it on Mercari. And it was like gone, sold super fast. Um, I think this is the one. Oh, wait, I might be mixing this up with another one. Another Monopoly game that I got. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Let's see. 613 June. Yep. I'm sorry. This is the wrong Monopoly game. But anyway, the other Monopoly game, I had looked up comps and I was like, this is going to take forever to sell. And it sold super fast, but I think it sold on eBay. But then I had this sale shortly after. That's why I'm mixing them up. This one, I don't remember what I paid for. I think I got this at a garage sale or something, but um, it was sealed. I don't recall. So I apologize for that. The next item I sold is this vintage Gifco scroll calendar. It's got the cute little owl and the little uh, animals, the butterfly, the bird. Um, this came from a garage sale. I think it was like 50 cents. It's from 1983. Super cute. Sold it for 25 free shipping. The next item came from an estate sale. It was um, in a drawer. And you guys have heard me tell this story before. But I went upstairs to a bedroom and I always look in the drawers and it was full of ephemera um, for Broadway, Broadway, Broadway ephemera, ephemera. I found signed items, autographs, and I have done so good. And I put it all in a bag and I got it so, so cheap. It was the last day of the sale. Everybody missed it. And um, definitely a bolo. But I sold this one program for $24 free shipping. So that was exciting. 
This one took a little longer to sell. The next item is this Glamorize Brawl. This is an older item. Um, I can tell because it's on the carpet. I've talked to you guys about that before. This came from a discount store. You can see it's marked through. So I just take a picture and disclose that the item is marked through to prevent store returns. Um, I'm looking here and I'm like, oh, is it defective also? Do you see the band? Or is it just folded? I might have missed that. Anyway, they didn't complain. Um, I don't have any notes. So I'm maybe it was just kind of how it's folded. But that doesn't look very good right there. Uh, that's kind of concerning. Well, it looks kind of weird over here too. Maybe it's just how it's made on the inside. I don't know. But anyhow, I sold this for $20. Free shipping. The next item is this Mermaid and Chrissy Magical Mermaids. And I sold this for $57. It is a harder to find item. I did end up getting an email or a message from them saying that the item wasn't new. And I'm like, that's right. And they said that it was missing some pieces. And I'm like, yes, that's correct. Um, so they said that they couldn't see the picture or the description, which made no sense to me. I don't know. But um, there's no returns on Mercari. They didn't open. I mean, you can open a not as described, I think, on Mercari. But they didn't open it. And I was like, well, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what happened. I disclosed that it was pre-owned and that not all the items were there. Um, but it's definitely a Bolo item. It's a harder to find item. I think that came in a mystery box. And I sold it for $57 free shipping. So I think she was just expecting something brand new. I'm not sure why. Uh, I think they were maybe a new user too. Okay, you guys... Tell me about this. This feels like one of those Squishmallows, but it's not. It's a DreamWorks troll, but you know how the Squishmallows feel? This felt like that. And I got this, I think, at a garage sale for like 50 cents. And I sold it for $24 free shipping. So pretty cool. It's a troll. It's Poppy the Troll. It's just her head. Okay, so this is a lot of Bratz items from 2001. These are the older ones. And honestly, like, I probably should have parted this out, but I had already laid everything out and I was too lazy to do it. I don't know how many messages I got asking me for the shirts off these two girls, just Jessica or whatever their names are. Like they were calling the dolls by names and I'm like, I don't even know which one that is. <laughs> like, I don't know. But um, even the accessories and the clothing, sometimes you can get 10 or 15 bucks bread and butter for certain outfits, even for like the newer dolls. But I just did not want to mess with it. I just wanted to move them as a lot. And they finally sold for $100. I was hoping to get around $150 to $175 just because they are from 2001. But um, $100 was still good. I picked these up at a garage sale and a huge bulk buy. Um, I got a really good deal on it. I can't remember what I paid, but I got all of this other stuff with it. A bunch of brat stuff. It was a huge lot. So I did really well. $100 was still good. And I paid the shipping. So this came out of a Lego set that was incomplete. So what I ended up doing was parting it out. This little girl, uh, Stella Angry Bird, was still in the original plastic. So I went ahead and sold her separately for $12 free shipping. The next item, I can't believe this sold. Um, it came, I can't believe I bought it, honestly. It's just not my style of thing, but I was at this garage sale and um, it was like 50 cents for these old dolls. And I have heard of EG before, I, or EG, I don't even know how to say it, but I've heard of, heard of it. So I was like, I eh, have 50 cents, I'll just throw it in my bag. And she actually sold not, I mean, it wasn't fast, but it was faster than I thought. It uh, looks like I listed it 11.28 of 20, but I sold it probably, uh, I sold it a month ago. So 11, so six, seven months to sell. Well, wait, it's only, it's May, right? No, it's April. It's the end of April. This video probably won't post for quite a little bit. I'm a little bit behind on posting. So, um, yeah, four or five months. That's not too bad. She sold for $22 free shipping. Uh, these Angry Birds came, I believe, in a mystery box. And I sold these for $18 free shipping. 
And they're just little mini figures. I don't know. I was like, I'll lot them up. They're all the same. 18 bucks, free shipping. I'll take it. The next item are these Loving Family Dollhouse Twin Girls. I went ahead and put them together as twins. I could have sold them separately as just a sister doll. But um, I sold these for $28 free shipping. And who knows? Garage sale, Facebook. I don't know where I got them. Mystery box. Uh, I get... I pick up uh, dollhouse stuff whenever I can. It takes time to list, but it's good bread and butter. The Hallmark keepsake item came out of a mystery box and I sold this little kitty for $18 free shipping. And you know, that took about this, I listed it on 12.4. So not too shabby. This Jim Shore Heartwood Creek figure came from a thrift store. I think I paid $5 for her. I think it was a thrift store or it was a mystery box. I know I've gotten some Jim Shore out of mystery boxes, but I think I paid separately for her. Um, and I want to say it was $5, but don't quote me on that. But she sold for $43 with free shipping. The next item, this Hudson Baby Fox car seat cover came from a thrift store. Uh, I want to say it was like a couple bucks. Can't remember, but I sold it for $27 free shipping. And I believe I was able to ship that one first class. So not too bad. And what I do is I cut and paste the address to pirate ship. The next item is this little vintage dollhouse birdhouse. How cute is that? Um, it was hard to get a good picture of it with the bird in it. And now the sold signs covering it. But this came in an estate from an estate sale and a lot of dollhouse items. And I sold this bird cage for $16. I should have called it. A, yeah, I did call it a bird cage down in the description. Like it's not really a bird house. It's more of a bird cage. Another loving family dollhouse boy. And I sold him for $16 free shipping. And again, just a bulk buy. This vintage ERTL Ertl. I don't know if it's Ertl or ERTL. I think I called it ERTL. And then I was at auctions for use auction. And I think they called it Ertl. I think it was her that did it. And I'm like, wait a minute. Are you sure? Because I've been calling it ERTL. <laughs> so she's probably right. I'm probably wrong. But um, I think it was her channel. Not 100% sure. But it's a truck and a wagon. I think I got this at a garage sale for like 50 cents each. Or it came out of a mystery box. But I sold it for $32 free shipping. The next item is this vintage miniature dollhouse sewing machine. Also came out of that dollhouse furniture lot from the estate sale. I sold this for $25 um, with free shipping. Super cute. And this is more furniture from that same estate. Um, buy out of the garage sale. Not garage sale. Of the dollhouse stuff. And I sold this for $47 free shipping. And this is a Disney replacement brown horse saddle. And this came out of a mystery box. I believe the horse was like not in good shape. So I'm like, I'm going to take the saddle and I'm going to take the bridle and I'm going to sell it. And I did. And it sold pretty quick. I sold that for $15 free shipping. So it sold like a month ago and I posted it in February 13th. So about a month, month and a half to sell. Not too bad. The next item is Mike the Armadillo Stuffed Animal Plush. Okay, you guys. So this was a part of my Thrift 15 haul. And I picked it up because it was an armadillo. And I just thought it was different. But when I looked up, Googled it, they're still being sold on Walmart. So I was like, wah, wah. And I'm like, this thing is never going to sell. And it actually sold like in a month or a month and a half. So I was super happy about that. Um, I think it was a dollar and I sold it for 14 free shipping. So not great margins, but just really happy it sold fast. The next item is this Cacique garter belt. Um, somebody asked me to bundle the 2628 and the 2224. So they got two of them for $20 free shipping. I have a whole bunch of these left. If somebody's interested, feel free to check out my links to my stores down below. The next item is awesome. Uh, I picked this up at a Goodwill for, I think it was seven or eight bucks. It's in another video, the exact amount. Um, maybe it was $7.99 or $6.99. I can't remember, but I was like, ah, and I looked it up and I was actually thinking about doing this 
because it's like a monthly thing where you do one for a month and then you go on to the next one, I think. And I was like, I kind of like that it does that. And then I looked up what they were selling for and I'm like, eh, who needs yoga? So I sold it for a hundred dollars. It sold super fast and uh, free shipping on that one. So um, it sold really fast and it was a great bolo. So it is called Yoga Burn. They were new and sealed, but I'm guessing if they were pre-owned, you could probably do pretty well with that also. So thanks you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out my other channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I've got a bunch of sourcing videos over there. Be sure to hit that bell. That will alert you when I post new videos. And thanks for watching.